Resident Evil 7 came in at number 10 on our Game of the Year list. This game nails its setting in the reclusive backwater swamps of Louisiana. It's dark, dirty, and incredibly unsettling. The gunplay is great. Monsters force you to take your shots carefully, and the guns have a realistic sound and recoil. Every monster you fight gives a nice stutter or kickback that makes the weapon satisfying to shoot. The crafting and inventory management is very well executed. You collect ammo, gunpowder, herbs, and chemical fluid to craft ammo or med kits, and it's this small choice-based system that makes the crafting system simple but well done. Boss fights are great, with memorable set pieces and creative boss designs like using a flamethrower against the bug-riddled Marguerite to prevent her from spawning disgusting mosquitoes. Our favorite aspect was the emphasis on exploration and puzzle solving. Variety like a saw-inspired sequence or using photos to track down upgrades were consistently exciting and rewarding. Also, the DLC extends what is already a tight package. Overall, Resident Evil 7 is a great Resident Evil game and one of the best survival horror games in years. Number 9 is The Evil Within 2. While this game's predecessor wasn't well received, this installment refines the ideas and mechanics of the first game, from making stealth a critical part of the game's experience, offering more variety of your choice of weaponry, giving more unique enemy encounters, and making the levels more open, and even offering completely optional side missions that provide more insight into the world and its people. The leveling system has also been changed, moving away from the linear upgrade paths of our first game to the skill trees that offer more options and abilities to help you on your journey. The Evil 2 also features more developed characters, including our very own Goo Boy, Splashing Castellanos. Along with these changes, Tango Gameworks keeps the great ideas and counter tricks that intrigues us and uses them to make a solid gaming experience and a fantastic survival horror game. And that's why The Evil 2 has secured its spot on our top 10. Number 8 on our list is Tales of Berseria, a Japanese role-playing game that isn't afraid to break out of genre conventions while giving players an impressive amount of creative options. The party has some of the strongest chemistry in the genre, which really gets to shine thanks to enhanced skits and post-battle sequences. This game is genuinely funny, and every line of dialogue is delivered sincerely. Even the smallest of side characters are treated with respect and go a long way in giving the world an extra bit of life. The writing is never cheap nor does it ever undermine the integrity of the story and its endearing themes of emotion and family. The battle system is a great example of how customizable Berseria can be. Every single attack can be rebound to fit anywhere in a combo tree. Every character's movesets are completely customizable and can even be changed mid-fight. No game in the series has ever been this open, and when combined with how satisfying these moves are to execute, it creates addicting encounters that inspire experimentation. Outside of the main story, there are mini-games to play, cosmetics to collect, and side quests to enjoy. Rare monster hunts can unlock game mechanics, and a swath of unique post-boss fights really drive home that this game is the full package. After dazzling us with not only an outstanding cast of charismatic characters, but a flexible battle system and substantial amount of quality content to boot, it's no wonder how Tales of Berseria found its way onto our lists and into our hearts. Our number seven is Wolfenstein 2 for its killer cast of characters and its fantastically encapsulating story. The story revolves around the Axis powers winning World War II, and they have gained control of the world, and the changes are horrifically intriguing. You play as B.J. Blaskowitz, a terrorist to Nazi America with one goal, to bring down the Nazi regime. This story is a roller coaster of emotions that keeps players engaged the entire time. On top of an enthralling story, we are given a wonderful soundtrack that can range from somber acoustics to hardcore heavy metal. No matter the situation, this game can set the mood and keeps you immersed for hours to come. Wolfenstein 2 also has a wonderfully brutal gameplay where every shot fired hits like a freight train. Running through explosions and taking apart Nazis with your bare hands, this gameplay makes you feel like an unstoppable force. This game is a solid addition to the series and left us with a need for the next installment in the trilogy. Our number six is A Hat in Time, and a year that was filled with revivals of the 3D platformer, A Hat in Time stood out the most to us. Kickstarted back in 2013, many were wondering when the game was going to come out, but it was definitely worth the wait. In the game, you play as Hat Kid, a space traveler who must go around collecting her missing timepieces. Akin to games it was inspired by, you must navigate through non-linear worlds, completing missions. You're given a plethora of movement abilities to help you get around, partnered by badges you can buy to help augment your abilities. What sets A Hat in Time apart from the rest is how charming and cute it is. The writing is hilarious and brings to life every aspect of the game, whether it's a crow on a train asking you for your password information, or just a computer terminal you find on the spaceship hub letting you play a video game. Each and every moment becomes memorable. 
Nothing is highlighted better by the game's unique sense of style than the cast of supporting characters, all of which are bursting with personality and flavor. A Hat in Time will always hold a special place within our hearts for its standout charm and unique style. Our number five is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight understands what makes Metroidvania games fun to play. It thrives on expansive yet connected areas, fluid combat, and a memorable soundtrack. Taking place in the subterranean kingdom of bugs, Hollow Nest is a unique world. Areas range from lush jungles filled with vibrant colors to dark caverns with spider-infested corpses. The 15 uniquely themed locales are interlocked with consistent logic that makes the world feel lived in. The characters living there also help with that. From Zote the Mighty, who will share all 57 of his precepts to you, or the happy miner who slowly goes insane as the game progresses. The combat is the bread and butter of Hollow Knight. Dodging or jumping around enemies while trying to find an opening in their attack pattern is consistently fun because of over 100 different enemy types. The ever-changing encounters stay dynamic throughout the adventure. On top of that is the charm system. Charms give players special abilities, but you can only equip a certain amount. A constant influx of new charms leads to a constant experimentation. Hollow Knight's orchestral soundtrack is as varied as its areas. From bombastic boss fights to melancholy walks through a decrepit town, every moment is enhanced through the music. The sound effects also add to the atmosphere. Bugs chatter delightfully and the sword clashes ring through the environment. Everything is perfectly placed for every moment. Hollow Knight is a rare gem, a perfect synthesis of its genre while adding its own twist to the standard formula. That's why it's our number five. At number four on our list is Assassin's Creed Origins. Following the story of Bayako Siwa and his wife Aya and the path they took to become the founders of the Assassin Brotherhood, taking place in ancient Egypt, you are able to explore every inch of its sands and cities from Alexandria to the renowned Great Sphinx. Along with Egypt's locations come its people, whether it be native Egyptian or occupying Roman, you can be sure to see noble figures such as Cleopatra and Julius Caesar in your travels. The Assassin's Creed Origins has reworked the franchise, giving the combat slightly more depth and making the game more of an RPG experience. From a level-based weapon system, to item rarities and perks, to even being able to upgrade your gear and armor, Assassin's Creed Origins offers many different ways to cater to how you want to play the game. All of these revamped features and experiences create the game that has been deemed worthy of earning its place at number four. Our number three is Cuphead. Ever wonder what a cartoon version of a Mega Man game will look like? Well, Cuphead is the answer, and oh boy, does it pack a punch! First things first, the game looks astonishing. Cuphead has a hand-drawn animation that delivers on the aesthetics of the 1930s. It's accompanied with a jazz soundtrack tying the gameplay to an upbeat roar. Speaking of gameplay, Cuphead's difficulty will surely give any player a run for their money. Each level has a unique set of obstacles, making each run a unique challenge. Toppling these imposing bosses is a challenging task, but every victory is always rewarding. Cuphead is a challenging and delightful game to play, and our third very game of 2017. Number two is Prey. We felt that Prey's design of interweaving moments of close quarters combat with open exploration and puzzle solving gave us the freedom to take on any task from any angle. With a wide range of abilities and tools at our disposal, there was no real correct way to complete an objective. There was always something to hack, repair, or tear open, and if all else failed, we could make our own path using the glue gun. What truly makes Prey shine, however, is its story and lore. The main story of the game features great blends of beauty, terror, and downright shocking twists, full of wonder and confusion. It also presents some tough moral questions that explore what it means to be human and dealing with the consequences of every action, both big and small. The best stories were the ones the game let us find. Throughout the game, there are a plethora of emails and notes to read that give insight to what life was like just before the main story took place. Whether it's a love letter that someone just couldn't get quite right, an audio log of a Dungeons and Dragons game, or an email chain to HR about something strange down in the lab, there was always something to read that made the desolate space station feel alive. Nier Automata is a quirky, beautiful, and broadly philosophical adventure that we named Game of the Year. Starting off with the simple elements of androids, robots, and a post-apocalyptic world, the game presents ideas that are rarely explored in the industry and does so with phenomenal execution. A sequel to a game most people hadn't heard of, Nier Automata starts off thousands of years in the future, where deadly machines have taken over. Heart-wrenching moments, plot twists, and well-fleshed-out characters create a story that sucks you in and doesn't spit you out until the credits roll, all 26 times. The voice acting is top-notch. 2B, 9S, and A2 have just the right amount of inflection to become believable. 
The music is also fantastically crafted. The sweeping orchestral soundtrack perfectly sets the stage for every moment. 8-bit versions of every song add another layer to the already stellar soundtrack. The combat is empowering, expertly blending together bullet hell and spectacle fighting. Camera angles and gameplay styles effortlessly switch to keep you on your toes. Systems like customizable chips and evolving mechanics ensure the challenge never stales. Near Automata is a must-have. Exciting music, a deep, relatable story, and unique gameplay combine to provide an experience unlike anything else before. This more-than-meets-the-eye tale of androids versus robots is our Game of the Year.